some days putting the balloon out can make the difference between catching and not catching. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly rig a balloon and when you may want to use them. Using a balloon as a fishing float and tying it to the fishing line without using any tools and then you'll just pop out. We sometimes use balloons when we are fishing for sailfish in Kuala Lumpur. Drifting with live bait is one of the most effective methods for catching sailfish over here. Although the use of a balloon is not always necessary, here are some other situations when you may want to use a balloon to keep the bait close to the surface or at a certain depth. Some bait fish in certain conditions, we will dive straight to the bottom if no float is used to keep them close to the surface. When target fish species that you want to catch are hunting near the surface. Another reason to use a balloon is to have a visual sense of where the bait is. For example, sometimes you can have more than one light bait out and you want to know if they are at the right distance, they are kept apart or they are not crossing lines. The size of balloon, keep it as small as possible just big enough that the big fish cannot drag it down. A smaller balloon will also have less resistance when blown by the wind or against the current and also less resistance when the fish takes the bait. Color of balloon? To me, the color of the balloon is not important as long as you can see the balloon except when you are drifting your bait miles away. In that case, you may want to use a bright colored balloon or if you are fishing in low light, you can actually stick a light stick inside the balloon. Using balloons can be effective for targeting predatory fish because they are often looking deep and looking up to spot their prey. Some of these predators are like bluefish, <laughs> mackerel, <laughs> cobia, queenfish, mahi-mahi and many more. We have even caught groupers or coral trouts using balloons. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to attach a balloon to your leader and this method allows the balloon to pop out easily when your bait is taken by a fish. After selecting your bait, put it on the hook. Don't leave the light bait out of water for too long. <laughs> okay, go and look for the big fish. Let the bait out and then let some line out to a <laughs> length or the depth that you want to keep the fish on. And then once you are there, pinch the line, take a balloon, inflate it. And then pull your main line from outside your rod tip. All you have to do is double your fishing line. And using the balloon, just tie an overhand knot around both lines. Okay, more. From here on, just let the wind and current take the bait and balloon out. The bait will also usually swim out. I'm going to show it to you again how it's done. Double up the line and then just do an overhand knot. Tighten it. And then shorten the line a little bit so that it's not too difficult to pop off. One last tip. Try not to use a balloon if possible as it may add to water pollution and marine life may accidentally eat a burst balloon thinking that it's food. The bright colour of the balloons often attract marine life such as sea turtles. There are claims out there by balloon makers that there are biodegradable balloons out in the market. But if you do some research, they are not really biodegradable. You know. The only thing is they are made from latex. Latex are supposed to be biodegradable. But the problem is that the balloons are mixed with other things that makes it not so biodegradable. And if you see a balloon floating free, do pick it up. 